What is up YouTube? This is the latest information when it comes to your stimulus check packages. Let's clap it up because you're alive, I'm alive, you're smiling, you're having a good day today. I just know you already having a good day today. Before we start this day, I got a lot of information based on you know whether you're filing your taxes, if you wait for your stimulus check or your taxes, or receiving it in the mail. We have the latest information. And before we even start this video, this video is sponsored by Chime. Chime is a bank account. You can have a savings, checking, and a credit builder card. So you can build your credit, build your wealth, as far as saving money in the process. Very, very simple to use. Very, very simple to download. It takes three minutes tops to download it. And guess what you're gonna get when you download the application? What are you gonna get? Some money. Some money. So like you get $50 just for downloading the application. Very, very simple, very, very easy to use. So if you guys got any questions regarding that, drop the comments below, but we're gonna get right into this. Now, a lot of people have not been receiving their stimulus check packages yet. And I understand that, you know, because there's 80 million people who have not received their stimulus check package. So we got the third check package, a third check, the third package, which is being processed right now. You know, Biden wants to push forward. Biden wants this package to be expedited. You know, he wants this to be expedited, but you know how the Congress is and how everything else is, it's a process, you know, it's a process. So hopefully, hopefully they're standing by March, mid-March, we should be receiving some type of stimulus package. You know, they're looking at 3000 per child. You know, so that's the report, 3,000 per child. And then you're also getting it spread out like within a month. So like every two weeks, maybe $200, every week, $200. They're trying to figure out the best route they can do this. You know, now Biden, as I mentioned, he wants to expedite this. He's like, let's push for this. They've already received their $600, you know, so let's push for the $1,400 stimulus check. Now there is benefits and you know, there's pros and cons with both of them. So let's say if, we actually wait and Biden says, let's actually put together something, a plan, and that's going to benefit both sides. They may come up with like a $200 per week, but you may have to reach, like I said, under hundred K, you know, 50 K, whatever that threat, you know, whatever that, that cap is, you know, so whatever that cap is, I know, I know a lot of people are saying, well, what if I'm married? Well, if I'm, you know, separated, whatever the case may be. They're taking all of your information straight off your taxes. So whatever you filed on your taxes, that's the information they're gonna use. Same as well as with you know your job and stuff like that. So there's different types and different information that the U the IRS and um, they're gonna use. But uh, Biden wants to push it forward. And if he actually gets this processed, of course they gotta sign off on it. You know, they gotta make sure this is what they want, you know, make sure this is gonna be beneficial. So they wanna sign off on that and then it may take another week or two to actually, you know, start to fulfill those processes, you know. So it's gonna be a while, but hey, it's in the process. It's in the process. Now if you guys filed your taxes or haven't filed them yet and you haven't received your stimulus check, um, your second stimulus check, you can actually um, receive that credit on your taxes. So whether you're doing it, you know, online, going to Jackson Hewitt, going to anywhere these places that's filing your taxes, make sure you get that recovery rebate. Now, don't lie on the application. I mean, don't lie on the, the taxes itself, because if it do, obviously, you're just gonna prolong, you're prolonging the whole process. So you're gonna prolong the whole process, whether you're waiting on them, whether you're, um, you know what I mean, prolonging it. So just be truthful and just tell them, hey, I already received it. I am basically, you know, because there's still credits and there's still stuff you may be um, eligible for. So you never want to lie on the taxes because it's all going to come right back. You know, it's all going to come right back. So don't lie on the taxes, but also be truthful to yourself and understand that there's going to be a third stimulus check package coming soon, you know. So hopefully this whole thing gets processed through. But um, I, as I mentioned, Biden wants to push it forward, but they're like, no, we're going to have to see, you know, there may be a a $50,000 cap per household. Also, they're like, they're looking at $300 per child, 3000 per child. So whatever that case may be, hopefully they come to an agreement that, um, that just basically benefits everybody, you know, hopefully it benefits everybody. Like I said, people are still in a boat with the second stimulus check and they haven't received it. So it's like, what, what can you do, you know? And also, I want to let you guys know, Chime Bank has been watching and commenting on my videos. So if you guys got questions about Chime, drop those comments below. I've talked about them all throughout my channel. 
So you guys want to watch those videos as well. And as I mentioned, you'll get free money just for downloading the application. Also, don't send any money down to the comments below. I've been seeing people asking for money, cash apps. Don't send money to scammers down there. Don't send money to scammers all throughout. You know, so try not to send money to these places or check this out or do this and that because there's scammers out there. And I want you to know that has nothing to do, you know, that has nothing to do with me. You know, if you get scammed, if you're sending money out to other people that's based on comments, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but I'm trying to give you guys awareness of, hey man, you shouldn't be, let alone sending money online. I wouldn't advise sending money to just random strangers, especially especially through YouTube where it's not a profile, you know, it's just harder to get in contact. So try not to do it. Um, if you have done it, I mean, hope, <laughs> hope the best situation, but yeah, if you guys got questions regarding the stimulus check, the second or the third, drop the comments below. Of course, we talk about this every single day. You know, I got a lot of other videos on my channel as well. So you guys want to be in that giveaway, February 12th, watch the other videos. Stay loyal, stay blessed, stay true, stay you. Sign it out. And just tell them, hey, I already received it. I am basically, you know, because there's still credits and there's still stuff you may be um, eligible for. So you never want to lie on the taxes because it's all going to come right back. You know, it's all going to come right back. So don't lie on the taxes, but also be truthful to yourself and understand that there's going to be a third stimulus check package coming soon, you know. So hopefully this whole thing gets processed through. But um, I, as I mentioned, Biden wants to push it forward, but they're like, no, we're going to have to see, you know, there may be a, a $50,000 cap per household. Also, they're like, they're looking at $300 per child, $3,000 per child. So whatever that case may be, Hopefully they come to an agreement that um, that just basically benefits everybody. You know, hopefully it benefits everybody. Like I said, people are still in the boat with the second stimulus check and they haven't received it. So it's like, what what can you do? You know. And also I want to let you guys know, Chime Bank has been watching and commenting on my videos. So if you guys got questions about Chime, drop those comments below. I've talked about them all throughout my channel. So you guys want to watch those videos as well. And as I mentioned, you'll get free money just for downloading the application. Also, don't send any money down to the comments below. I've been seeing people asking for money, cash apps. Don't send money to scammers down there. Don't send money to scammers all throughout. You know, so try not to send money to these places or check this out or do this and that because there's scammers out there. And I want you to know that has nothing to do, you know, that has nothing to do with me. You know, if you get scammed or if you're sending money out to other people that's based on comments, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but I'm trying to give you guys awareness of, hey man, you shouldn't be, let alone sending money online. I would.